fifth grade, chapter six, lesson eight, patterns with fractions. Unlock the problem. Mr. Patrick wants to develop a new chili recipe for his restaurant. Each batch he makes uses different amounts of chili powder. powder. The first batch uses three and a half ounces. The second batch uses four and five six ounces. The third uses six and one six ounces. And the fourth uses seven and a half ounces. If this pattern continues, how much chili powder will he use in the sixth batch? You can find the pattern in the sequence by comparing one term with the next. Write the terms in the sequence as equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Then examine the sequence and compare the consecutive terms to find the rule used to make the sequence of fractions. So clearly it's going up or down. It's going up, right? Okay. So they started with three and one half. So what would that, what's going to be our common denominator, guys? Six, right? So really this could be what? Three and? Three and three, six. Three and three, six. And then it went from three and three, six to four and five, six. And then to two and one, six. And then seven, to seven and a half could also be what? Seven and three, six. And three, six. So basically it's going up by one and two six each time, right? So seven and three six plus one and two six is? Eight and five six. Eight and five six. And then eight and five six plus one and two six. So you'd add the one and you get nine and seven six. But what would seven six also be written as? One, one and one, one six. six. So really you'd have 10 and 1, 6. And then we said our pattern is, at, is adding 1 and 2, 6. So what would 10 and 1, 6 be plus 1 and 2, 6? 11 and, and 11 and 3, 6, which is also 11 and a half, right? Then we said we're going up by 1 and 2, 6. So 11. And 3, 6 plus 1 and 2, 6 is 12 and 5, 6. So basically the sixth one, um, or batch 4, would be 12 and 5, 6. Write a rule that describes the pattern in the sequence. Is the sequence increasing or decreasing from one term to the next? Explain. So... The terms are, what guys? The terms are increasing. By one and two six each time. So our rule was add one and two six. Extend the sequence to solve. So we went from three and a half to four and five six to six and one six to seven and a half to eight and five six to ten and one six. Now, if we would have needed this batch three right here, would we have needed to um, would we have needed to reduce? Yeah. Okay. So Mr. Patrick will use. They wanted bat, this batch right here, so 10 and 1 6 ounces of chili powder in the sixth batch. These were just the batches past there, right? Okay. Example, find the unknown terms in the sequence. So we went from 1 and 3 fourths to 1 and 9 sixteenths to 1 and 3 eighths. So what is your guys' common denominator? 16, right? So this technically could be 1 and what over 16? 12 sixteenths, right? And then it would be 1 and 9 sixteenths, and then the next one could be 1 and 6 sixteenths. And then the next one could be 1 and 3 sixteenths. So is it going up or down? Down. Down. So that means you are subtracting, right? So then we have 1 and 3 sixteenths. So what is it going down by, guys? Three sixteenths. So minus three sixteenths. So one minus three sixteenths would be what? One. One. 
what would one whole be? If we had 16 as a denominator, what would one whole be? 16 sixteenths. So what's 16 sixteenths minus 3 sixteenths? 13 sixteenths. 13 sixteenths minus 3 sixteenths is? 10 sixteenths. 10 and then if I took 10 sixteenths minus 3 sixteenths, does that still get me 7 sixteenths? Yep, yep. And then 1 fourth can also be written as 4 sixteenths. Four sixteenths. So write the terms in the sequence as equivalent fractions with a common denominator. So um, we just said it could be 1 in 12 sixteenths, and then 1 in 9 sixteenths, and then 1 in 6 sixteenths, 1 in 3 sixteenths, and then 1, right, which would also be 16 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths. 10 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, and 4 sixteenths. Write a rule describing the pattern in the sequence. What operation can we use to describe the sequence? The sequence that increases, but it doesn't increase, right? But it does. But yes, this one doesn't increase, but if it was to increase, it would be addition. addition. In this case, it went down, so that would be. Subtraction. Subtraction or decreasing. And then our rule is subtract three sixteenths. Subtract three sixteenths. Use your rule to find the unknown terms and complete the sequence above. And we already did that, right? Try this. Write a rule for the sequence, then find the unknown term. So we have one and one twelfth, five six, one third, one twelfth. What would be a common denominator? Twelve. Twelve. So this could also be known as 10 twelfths. <coughs> this could also be known as 4 twelfths. Now, are we going up or down? Down. Yeah. So we know our rule starts minus, and then what is it from 4 twelfths to 1 twelfth? 3 twelfths, so minus 3 twelfths. So 10 twelfths minus 3 twelfths equals 7 twelfths. So our answer is 7 twelfths, and our rule is subtract 3 twelfths. Write the first four terms of the sequence. The rule, start at 1 fourth and add 3 eighths. So 1 fourth, and then we're going to add 3 eighths. What could 1 fourth also be written as? 2 eighths. Two eighths. So I'm just going to note that it could also be 2 eighths. So what is 2 eighths plus 3 eighths? 5 eighths would be our next term. What is 5 eighths plus 3 eighths? 8 eighths. 8 eighths, which also equals 1. one. And then 1 plus 3 eighths equals mm -hmm. 1 and 3 eighths. So our answer is 1 fourth, 5 eighths, 1. And then also 1 and 3 eighths. Did we need to simplify any of those? No. No. Okay. Share and show. Write a rule for the sequence. So we went from 1 and 1 fourth to 1 and a half to 3 fourths. What do you guys think the rule is? Adding 1 fourth. Add 1 fourth. So our new denominator could have been what? 4, four right? So this one would have been 2 fourths. And then so you're adding one fourth. One and one or one ninth, but then one third and then five ninths. What would be our common denominator? Nine. So what could one third also be? Three ninths. Over here, guys, what did we forget to do? Say that we are adding one fourth, right? Because it's doing it. So then Rule, are we going up or down? Up. up, so it would be adding, and then how much did we go up? Two ninths. Write a rule for the sequence, then find the unknown term. So we went from three tenths to two fifths something, the three fifths, to seven tenths. 
So what does our new denominator need to be? 10. So four or two tenths or two fifths could also be what? Four tenths. Three fifths could also be six tenths. So are our numbers going up or down? Oh. Up. So we're going to add. Add by what? One tenth. So our new our new answer will be five tenths, which is also one half simplified. We go from two and ten and two thirds to nine and eleven eighteenths to eight and five ninths. Are we going up or down? Down. So we are going to subtract. What can our new denominator be? 18. So this would be 10 and what? 2 thirds could be what? Well, you're going to multiply by 6. So 2 times 6 is 12. So 12 18. And then we went to 9 and 11 18. 8 and 5 ninths, what could that also be? 8 and 10, 10 18. And then 6 and 4 ninths could also be what? 6 and 8 18. So 10 and 12 18, then to 9 and 11 18. What are we doing? Subtracting by what? 1, one and 1. 18. Then what would 8 and 10 18 be? Minus 1 and 1 18. Six. Seven. 7 and 9 18, which can also equal 7 and 1 half. So our answer is 7 and a half. All right, we have one and one six, so we need to find something. And then we go to one, 11 twelfths, and five six. So what do you guys think? Add or subtract? Uh, subtract. Is it going higher or subtract. lower? Yeah. Subtract, because it's decreasing. What could be our new denominator? Twelve. Twelve, right? So this could also be one and two twelfths. And then we had 1 and 2 twelfths, so we got 1, then 11 twelfths, and then what could 5, 6 be? 10 twelfths. 10 twelfths. So what are we subtracting by? 1 twelfth. So 1 and 2 twelfths minus 1 twelfth is? 1 and 1 twelfth. We go from 2 and 3 fourths to 4 to 5 and 1 fourth to six and a half. Are we going up or down? Are we increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Increasing. And then what could be our new denominator? Four, right? So this could also be six and two fours. So what are we going up by, guys? One and one fourth. So six and two fourths plus one and one fourth is seven and three fourths. 